Some have called it Boris Johnson's last stand. This colossal figure of British politics demeaned under close questioning by a cross-party committee of MPs. Well, uh, but anyway, let's can, can I say, whatever your, th sir. this is a very important point, no, no, because whatever, whatever your interpretation of the guidance may be, what matters, if I may respectfully say, is what I believed to have been our efforts to follow the guidance, why I thought that they were credible and uh, and wholehearted, Mr. and what I was thinking of at the time I spoke. I'm going to ask you to allow Sir Bernard to ask his next question. Of course. At issue here is whether Johnson lied to Parliament about lockdown parties in Number 10 Downing Street. Mr. Speaker, no, but I'm sure that in, in whatever happened, uh, the guidance was followed and the rules were followed at all times. The, rules the former guidance. Prime Minister is adamant he did not. I'm here to say to you, hand on heart, that I did not lie to the House. Johnson concedes his statements were misleading, but uttered, he said, in good faith. He'd been told by aides the events in question were work-related and within the guidance. But my honest belief uh, that it was within the rules was uh, based on what I was told by senior advisers. The fact that this was my honest belief is supported by the fact that so many other people honestly believed that we were doing nothing wrong. The committee at one point described Johnson's defence as flimsy and said that to the man who was Prime Minister at the time, who made the rules and who broadcast them frequently to the nation, it should have been obvious that what was going on was wrong. Johnson's retort was that, therefore, it should have been just as obvious to others who were there, including current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Sunak was fined by the police for breaking the rules, as was Johnson. In this bid to clear his name, Boris Johnson apparently happy to tarnish the name of others. I think it's quite clear to everyone that he misled everyone in everything, but do you blame him? Could anyone have done any better? I'm not certain. I think he'll come back. So so it's not, not the end of Boris Johnson, no. It's more, more life in him. Still popular in some quarters, but Johnson's hopes of a comeback looking slimmer and slimmer. It will be for the Privileges Committee to decide whether he knowingly lied to Parliament, a decision that in turn could see the former PM ejected as an MP. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.